Hello guys and welcome to Tech Tricks tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about how to transfer from Coinbase to Gcash in your Coinbase wallet. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit and like subscribe button. Let's get right into it. So first off, let's get on with the download of the Coinbase application. So first off, you have to go to coinbase.com to download the application or you can just head on to your App Store or your iOS stores in your iOS device or your Android devices where you will find that Coinbase wallet. So once you have downloaded the Coinbase wallet, as you can see, I already have downloaded mine in my iOS device right here. So it's either you sign up or you log into your existing wallet. So for creating a new wallet, here you can see the, some of the steps such as you will see uh, picking your username so you'll have to pick a username for your coinbase wallet that you're going to use so i have personally chosen mine as you can see here in the top left corner of my screen so after you pick your username and you agree to the terms so and terms and privacy policies you go next to your second page which is backup your wallet so backing up your wallet you'll have options like uh choosing your preferred security method uh you have to back it up on your iCloud or you can back it up manually. So backing it up, your man, your recovery phrase is gonna be the key to your wallet. So you have to keep this safe as this is the only access to your wallet and Coinbase cannot recover you, recover this phrase for you in what way or whatsoever. So this is only for you and you only. So when you select um, backup to iCloud or backup manually, if you back up to the cloud, you'll be asked to set a password to encrypt your backup like the recovery phrase that I've told you a while ago. So this keeps the password safe and as Coinbase can't recover it for you, as I said too, it's going to be really, really delicate. So you have to keep that at your times and your personal belongings at all times. So if you choose to back up manually, your, your recovery phrase will be displayed for you to write down or to copy paste in the secure location. It will be a 12 letter phrase. So now confirm and the last words of your recovery phrase to confirm your backup. And there you go. You're all done. Your Coinbase wallet is already ready to use. So that's just how you set it up. So next I'm going to teach you how to transfer from Coinbase wallet so you can swap it to, your, swap it to Ethereum for Gcash in writing your mobile app or browser extension. So all you have to do is go to your assets tab, which I don't really have here but as you can see you have to connect it to your coinbase actually for it to work so you just go to tap or click the swap icon in your assets tab then you choose your asset and pick gcash for your um, payment method so this is basically how you do it for or you can do it vice versa to transfer to coinbase to gcash so if you have amount of let's say a thousand dollars here in your Coinbase wallet, you can transfer it to your Gcash by doing these simple steps. So, first, you really have to add your Ethereum coin, your Ethereum to your Coinbase wallet, so you can initiate this exchange from Ethereum for Gcash right in the mobile application, or as I said, in the browser extension. As I said, you just go to swap, swap icon in your assets tab, then choose asset, and then pick Gcash. Then after that, you'll have to input the amount of Ethereum you like to exchange for Gcash. It's just that simple, or you can do it vice versa. So, as of right now, the price of Gcash is about 0 0.0134 uh, Philippine pesos. So there you go. And you just have to download the Coinbase wallet, like I said, and choose a Coinbase wallet username securely store your recovery phrase and understand and plan for ethereum network fees so that's an important phase also of doing this so the fees vary based on how busy the network is and how complicated the transaction is and is how fast you like the transaction to be completed and set aside some money for fees so whenever you're going to transfer just don't allot a thousand bucks for your transfer you have to at least have a extra $50 or so just for this plans for your ethereum network fees because you never know if you want it instant it's gonna cost more expensive and if you want it more cheaper it's gonna take time and 
it might take weeks or days for it to process. So after that, you just have to buy and transfer Ethereum to your Coinbase wallet. So if you don't have a Coinbase account, I, like I said a while ago, I just taught you how to create one and to buy Ethereum. So to buy Ethereum, it's just as simple as pressing this buy button. You can buy or transfer with Transact or transfer from Coinbase, like I said. You can connect to your Coinbase account where you can also import it from there. So use your Ethereum to buy Gcash in the trade tab. It's just simple as that. So as you can see here that you'll see your transactions after you have done that. And here you can also explore that, you know, what's the price of Ethereum if you want to exchange it for that. As you can see right here, it's $1,993.29 as of the moment that we are speaking right now. So you can just tap your buy. So as you can say that you have to buy or transfer with crypto. Unfortunately, it doesn't work in my country. So I'm explaining it to you step by step. It's just that that easy as you can see here. You can also actually transfer from Ethereum or Bitcoin or BNB as you like to your Gcash accounts. It's just simple as that. So you just have to time it right and trade on your own policies and please trade wisely since this is not a joke here we're talking about money right here so as you can see here that you have also the options for ethereum us dollars and solana dogecoin matic ltc avax and other things like that so here you will see that they're also trending so you can trade that for your gcash so you can transfer it there it's just simple as that so as you can see here you have pepe coin which really just broke out a couple months ago couple months ago where it really skyrocketed in value so you also have other coins here which are trending as of the moment and you never know which one you can trade for for a higher price in the future so as i said trade wisely and please use this guide for trading to your gcash or vice versa and it's just as simple as that so i have showed you everything you have to know for just trading for gcash so if you want to learn more on how to trade on your Coinbase, you can actually just head on to coinbase.com slash how to buy or you can just go to their website and you can explore in their website on how crypto prices and charts works, ENS profiles and Web3 and you can actually learn their tips and tricks and tutorials for our updates in the system or market updates and crypto basics just for if you're a newbie in crypto right now. So you can buy and sell there, use their wallet. They also have a crypto card, which you can spread crypto and earn crypto rewards. You can also borrow if you want, but there's going to be Bitcoin as collateral. So you also have your NFT and advanced buying and selling of crypto using Coinbase. It's a very diverse system and Coinbase has provided this to you guys as their users. You can also go to their cloud where you will find their developer tools and APIs, wallets as service, commerce API, and other things such as that. There's also a wallet SDK and other things you can also learn about their company and maybe be part part of them. You can be affiliate of Coinbase. You can actually earn money becoming an affiliate in Coinbase. So those are just the basics I want to show you. And I have reached my target of teaching you guys how to transfer from Coinbase to Gcash. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. See you again next time.